And there you go. There's Nick's song. He was too busy this week. He said, fuck the listeners. I just don't fucking care. Uh, Jack, do you have uh, names for the patrons at the end of the show? I, I, I do. Really? I believe it when I see it. What are their names? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not renaming them. That's the name they were given. They're stuck with it. I'm just saying. Like Matt was always prepared to give us. Oh, I, I, funny. I call a flag in the play. He wasn't prepared for shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Matt. Take I, it, I, take I love it. Matt, but man, he he really did, sure did mail it in those last uh, last few months of those names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like I said. I'm not going to even try. I did, you know, I was wondering last week because Joanne with the plan works for NASA. Does mm-hmm. she like uh, for all mankind? For all mankind, I, I don't think I've ever asked her. I don't know. Yeah, I was watching a, a very short clip of uh, what is her name? So this the redhead that runs NASA on the show, oh, and she was yeah. talking about traitor. Uh, she was. Uh, what is I'm it? sorry, spoiler. Not yet, but yeah. Oh my of, god. So Holy like what, cow. like like five minutes in, and you guys busted <laughs> my chops still on this fucking show? Jeez, what the <laughs> fuck, what, man? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. us Dude. guys, you guys. I wasn't Buster Chops. I was actually saying maps for Paris. The other two assholes. Oh, okay. Okay. oh whoa, 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 whoa. No. No, no, I'll no, say it to your face. I said you were fucking mailed it in with the names in the last <laughs> sure. two months. Fair, that's fair. I was just trying to. I was just trying to defend myself. I, I had, mm-hmm. and then that's when that's when uh, Chris said, "Fuck Matt." All right. Well, I miss you I guys, say, Nick. Matt, but... Nick, I can't decide between an internet joke or a southern joke. Boom, roasted. <laughs> 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 I got nothing else for the rest it's of you. It's been good so far. Back on wood. I didn't hear a song to start this show either. I mean, oh yeah, I was I was pissed about. That's what got you involved with the whole. Oh thing. okay, okay. I was gonna see how long I could just watch without getting involved in this tonight's show, and I just <laughs> I couldn't resist. Oh, and, nice, and look, Chris. what it's like. I'm back, and we get to talk Legos all of a sudden. Yay! Jack's like, fuck, I let Matt in and he shangs hot. She had a whole goddamn <laughs> show with Legos. That's cool, Chris. I that's a and that, apparently that's the only uh I think fallen order Lego set they've made. Mm-hmm. So um Is this a bad life? I was watching a, a <clears throat> brick thing about it today, actually. I was like, Oh, that's kind of cool. A so, what thing? A brick, you know, one of those oh, brick things. Lego. You know, on your on your on your Instagram feeds where they're trying to sell you shit and stuff oh so, commercial oh, yeah. i bet more will get relief there it is we'll was... roasted boom son of a bitch, son of a bitch. uh so i bet we get more lego sets with uh falling order especially now that the second game's coming out and you know that that yeah. seems to be gaining traction with uh, a lot more people discovering that game and that friend yeah. that wait hold on a second can i, can I say something Hmm. It's bad enough the listeners have to Lego to, to listen to Lego talk once, but now they got to listen to it twice with Nick. Yeah, <laughs> it's the same. It's the same. <laughs> it's the same same show. They're like, oh, this is why we didn't care what? what was going what? on. It's like, <laughs> well, it's I, like yeah, even, so. What's uh, interesting though is that look at look at look at the Lego backdrop over there. Nice. Oh, yeah, he's got, he's got a little city going on. Yeah. This is this is this is, is my. That, is that my... a painting there? Is that a paint or is that just? No. Uh... That's that's the, that's map, the maps. You got city, the, you the got city square, the police. Ah, okay. The uh, the diner. Mm-hmm. The diner. Uh, yeah, you got the uh, the. Uh... Oh, over here is the French. Uh, oh yeah, the French Parisian restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and then you got the uh, gas What's station slash veterinarian's office. Behind the behind the diner <laughs> is where the friends uh, set is at. And uh, did you guys see that they're releasing an office one? Yes, I did. Yeah, that's, that's that's what she said. I can't wait. <laughs> so so excited. The thing, the thing that it drives me nuts about the uh, I even though I, I get them and I love them, the friend set, the Seinfeld set, all those you know they're just half because they're sets, and so I always mm-hmm. have to wait for the uh, the mock the MOCs to come out to uh, complete it, so it makes it an entire building, and I'm like okay, and then I have to buy more bricks to complete it, and that's what they'll do with the office too. Like someone will take that one floor and then make it like a building. You know, you know like, oh, you know, the warehouse you know, is kind no, of a warehouse. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I think I've just wandered into a different world, but, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I 
<laughs> well, I'm I'm in a different spot in my basement. Um, so you the look, other you look clear. You actually, you look a little younger. I look younger as the lighting over here is softer. You look tanner. My... That's for sure. Well, yeah, I was out in the sun it. today, so okay. um, no, my the where I usually podcasted from is mm. is well, that's kind of my art desk now, and so I'm mm. just kind of taking that over with that and and not letting podcast interfere with that because that's my creative center you know that's my that's my zone so i've got like a nice little you're you're not creative when you podcast yeah this isn't a creative outlet for you (laughs) no no it's just i'm sorry are are we keeping you from more important i'm sorry matt if if maybe you would have put some effort into it it would have been creative (laughs) back five minutes he's already getting shit on five why did i miss this why did i miss no i missed talking to you guys are butter those curlies oh yeah I love curly fries, man. Oh, those look I, good. I'm not a fan. I, I'd rather have the normal, the normal those are ones. Good. If God Seasons wanted curly. French fries in circles, he would have made the potato up. Oh, yeah. I would choose curly exactly. fries any day of the week over any other kind of fry. I mean, you're, over steak, yeah, over steak, steak fries, over steak, steak fries. fries are over fucking rated. Yeah, and not, it depends not, on who's not, cooking. Whole, them. Whole, well, not if they're cooked right. If they're cooked, if they're right. cooked, if they're crispy, they're good. But a lot of times they're like just still Get, raw. Well, that's how they yeah. cook French fries. This, this sounds like a now. I know, I know. You guys had a versus recently, Jay and Jack, old Jay school. Jack did, yeah, yeah about lot. chips. Fucking, you know, versus. I got ripped fries. off on that one. That was a, the votes were stacked against me. Oh, I, I, I haven't been on on the the FB to, to check. That's no, not. A, it was live. It was. On oh, during, it was live. Okay, it was, it was against me. I, I remember any, that any, it kept going. What have you have you guys dabbled in 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 jumping off Facebook yet? I I did. I was I How does it feel? My man? wife jumped on it recently. I told you guys in the chat. That's about what, that's what she loss. said. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah. I'm not on it that much either. Like I really just on it just for this, for the podcast. That's really about I, it. I'm on I wish people happy birthday which Chris loves. Uh and then I I'll be honest with you, late the last 3 or 4 days I've been posting pictures of the latest grandchild. Yeah, he's been spending time in the NICU, so we go down there, we visit him, and you know, you got to wash your hands and all that stuff. It's, it's oh crazy. my gosh, what a! Why did you beat up your grandchild? Though? I saw I, he, know, was all, he was all like red and bruised. I, and I held him for the first. Like, I held him for the first time today, and I said, "Dude, I'm gonna tell you right now. I took care of your brother. I took care of your cousins. I go. I run a tight ship, so don't fuck with me." Uh-huh. And the nurse was just looking at me like I was. I was this cruel. <laughs> I'll, I'll be I'll be honest with you. I'll, I'll be a hundred percent honest because I'm sure Cindy will tell it anyway. When I first got there on Monday and saw all the things hooked to him, I was tearing up. I was crying. And Cindy goes, "What are you crying about?" I go, "I go." She goes, "I go. I'm not heartless. I have a heart." So I, I, I didn't. I did. I didn't even want to. I didn't want to go down there. Down there because I didn't want to see him like that. But he's he's breathing on his own now, and everything's good. I guess he was breathing on his own before, but he was. He, they were giving him oxygen. And they had a lot of fluid in his lungs. Oh, they really? had a. It was. It was born three weeks early. So. Yeah. But he, yeah. he should. He. I guess he'll come home Friday or Saturday. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah, he's a good-looking kid. I mean, I don't want to say it, but he looks just like me. But he's a good. <laughs> he's got the. He's, he's all got some, he's got, newborn, he's got the butt chin. All newborns look like fucking aliens. Yeah. Old true. men. Old men. Oh, old well, old men. Well, that's what. Them. There you go. So there he goes. That's why it looks like Jack. It looks just like an old man. Yes. Bald, bald and grumpy. <laughs> bald and grumpy. And I did wish uh, Warm Tappy a happy birthday uh, the other day. He turned mm-hmm. 60. Fucking Jesus old. Christ. Jesse. Old fart. Man. Jesus. You need you need to stop having birthdays, Jack. When does that happen? Like, I, You work? know what? It, will you just... To ask him to die? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just threatened Jack. Ten minutes into your return to the show, you, you, you I, I'm not returning on. for and good, not guys. I, I just was. Anymore. I, I'll see you guys later. I'll let, take let, care. Let's kill the producer. I want my job back. <laughs> when, when are you gonna fucking die, Jack? Um, <laughs> Jack? Hey, hey, Matt, Matt, Matt. Matt this is isn't, this isn't like the. Sad. This Check isn't the like the. This isn't like the throne that you have to wait for me to die for you to come back and be a producer. No, no I'll, no, I'll no, just no. simply step aside. <laughs> I'll just say, well, you know what? I, I, I give up my crown. I, I did want to say is really, you know, I went on to, to the RCAD YouTube, you know, Ramblecast After Dark, and I'm looking for, I'm like, what did he, he did away with my fucking number system. We had a fucking number system going. It's <laughs> just oh, now, it's all out oh, in the wind he did, now. He did that intentionally? 
Yeah. Is that why Colleen put, says I, you got to put a number on it? I go, yeah, I put talking? a number. I go, in what the, the hell is she talking about? If you like it, then you got to put a number on it, Jack. <laughs> if you like it, put a number on it. I, Except if it's including weight. Hey, I, I, I did get us to 100 subscribers, so as producer. <laughs> it's like it happened under your watch. I'm like any president or political leader. When things are going bad, I have nothing to do with it. Things are going uh, good. It was no. me. Yeah, you I did it. Like you fake those subscribers too, man. That's that's what I learned on my time. Um, maybe <laughs> they're all bots. Yeah, um, I can I can show you later. You just look at the past ones, you know, and 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 see what number we're on. I think this is number one seventy one eighty. Are we at one eighty? It's, it's probably one eighty. Yeah, if you, well, it's getting up there. For, You're getting close of- to your two hundredth. You need to start thinking about that, Jack. You yeah. know, before. Yeah, Jack, what do you want to do for 200? Um, cake for everyone, I guess. I think everybody wants you to bring warm taffy back. I think I speak for a subset of fans. <laughs> <laughs> Another subset wants, uh, you know, a new some, somebody new to replace. Like, we got to, you know, find a replacement for me. So I can just, I can are, just so, so are, are you are you are you telling everybody you're never coming back? Are you gonna be like no, the, no, are, I, 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 you're I be like Frank Sinatra on Tonight Show, just come walking on whenever you feel like Bob it. Bob Hope, this is Bob Hope. No, um, no, I, I can't quit you. Oh, guys. Bob Hope, Bob Hope was always. I can't playing. quit you. Like I was just like ah, what what's up with those guys? What are they doing? What are those lives like? What how how were you know? So then I'm just tuning in to listen to this fucking thing. So it's like why shouldn't <laughs> I just talk as opposed exactly. to. At first, I was so, like, "Who the fuck's getting on?" <laughs> did I put? Did I send the wrong link out? <laughs> uh, Randy, did Meowsers beat up Baxter? Uh, I, I assume that you refer to my Instagram picture about Baxter in a collar. No, he just had a little kind of growth kind of on his side, and we were getting some uh, dental cleaning on, on my dog. And so, while he was under, I was just like, "Let's go ahead and remove that that thing because I don't want it to get worse." You know, it's kind of like a fatty tissue kind of thing, you know. But it was. The doctor said, or the vet said, well, it's separated, so it shouldn't be bad. It's not taking root to him. So I was like, and he's such a good, good dog. I mean, if he was a bad dog, I would just be like, whatever. Like, let him die. Let him, let, <laughs> let, you know, let him die with Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, and, 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 that, and that's not a loss reference. Well, he doesn't want you to die alone, Jack. Well, if you live <laughs> together, you don't want to die alone. Am I right? Am I right? Uh, you got Sherry says, yes, the 200th show would be great to have Warm Taffy back. And John, the retired UPS guy, says, Warm <laughs> Taffy back. No! I just got my eardrums, re- eardrums replaced. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because he had that laugh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, we, we, I'm... Uh, you know, maybe I'll see, I'll offer him some Mentos and see what happens. That would just, just be an off-the-rails conversation. I could just see it happening. I guess he's let his hair fun. grow. That's what he told me. I said, well, anything to cover those ears, I would have done it a long time ago. But that that's just me. You know, Jay comes on here. He's like, what do you guys do on here? You know, he just like shits on the whole show. And I was hey. like, well, you... This left us to the so weeds. Well, you know, he, he, go, he goes, done with he goes, podcasting. I just want my own show now. He goes, you, you, uh, you, you don't plan anything. I go, yeah, you were on the show. What the fuck? Ramblecast, yeah. Because <laughs> because who was someone was asking me that recently. He goes, so what do you guys prepare? How long does it take you to prepare for the show? I go, well, now that <laughs> I go now that Matt's gone, it went from it went from a minute to like five <laughs> minutes. Well, now I got to do the pre- the prep work, so it's like seven minutes of total mm. time. I gotta get prepared for the show. I yeah, and you gotta look up that episode number, and then you gotta share it to Facebook and, and the mm-hmm. Instagrams. Oh wait, you don't do that. Oh, uh, it's it's on Facebook. Okay, okay. I, I I need the Twitter. I keep forgetting to ask you. I think you gave it to me, but I need the Twitter password and username because I can't um, not now. But okay, okay. I won't I won't give it to yeah, you. Yeah, by the way, because the three listeners would be all over spamming us. Uh, um. Yeah, it's Southern Nick. <laughs> Southern Nick. Um, so um, I don't. I don't think I finished the last ep- episode. Well, maybe I did because it was about well, neither, adventures neither, in Disneyland. Neither, neither did us. We, 
<laughs> You're like, we, we fell it. asleep. We just faded out. <laughs> um, but, Randy so, says he can give you the password if you need it. <laughs> oh, oh, Thanks, Randy, Randy has the password. Thanks. Thanks for that. So, I just remember still- the uh, Owen and Bruce password. That's the only one I ever remember. Right. I remember but that one. Randy, too. the password is not dad jokes. <laughs> but you're not far off. It's, <laughs> good, it's either uh, fuck Spanos or good call ref. <laughs> or that was a strike. That was a strike. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, last night. Jesus Christ. Padres are playing this umpire. Now, he was bad for both teams. He was terrible for both teams. But in the eighth inning, or ninth inning, we got Josh Hader. Might have heard the Padres made some moves. Might have read yeah. it. Saw, saw the, they got uh, like the nope. one of the best players in baseball. Didn't read anything about that. Really low. So they got Josh Hader's reliever. He, he thro- No, it's, I'm sorry. It was Maury Holm in the eighth inning. He throws a strike. Strike three. Everyone's cheering. <laughs> the fans are cheering. Everyone's watching. The guy, McMahon, the batter for Colorado, is walking back to the dugout. Umpire goes, ball. Mm. And you're like going, Jesus, that was almost right down the middle. And he goes, ball. And and, and our coach, our manager goes, do your fucking job. <laughs> 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 you get to read his lips saying it. It was a... Uh, Quite amazing on a on a special day where the Padres got Juan Soto, Josh Bell, Josh Hader, and, and a hmm. boatload of other players. So anyway, Tatis comes back soon. It should be some fun times going on at Petco Park. But anyway, what's, the umpire was just drunk. What's um what's the playoff picture like, Jack? Because I want to hear more about baseball. Uh, no chance. I, there's no chance they win the division. There. I'm, I'm kidding. Because I'm. I, I know, but I'm. I don't. Fucking, you open the can of worms. I, I'm, fucking, no, I'm, I'm curious. Going. I'm curious because I know that it's coming up, right? You know, playoffs. Yes. You want to talk about? Well, playoffs? We've got about sixty games left. I don't think Boston's making it. <laughs> you, you guys did take Eric Hosmer from us. Yeah, you're gonna did. you're gonna love watching him at first base. It's an adventure. Oh, we got him for a bag of balls, so it's an upgrade at first base for us. He's he's horrible defensively. Now he might uh, he he might hit oh he's no trust me he won a gold glove a few years ago but he is horrible defense he's getting I think what I, my theory is he's getting old well he is getting old he doesn't exercise and work out I mean as we get older what do we have to do yeah, I've heard I've heard you have to exercise and get yourself in shape but he doesn't do that and you can tell he's kind of, he was never athletic before and he's slowly breaking down I mean he'll I think he'll hit well in Boston because. You know, the Green Monster and everything else, the short outfield wall. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, go ahead, Matt. You were saying? Uh, I was saying that I was in the middle of an office rewatch, and I came across the episode where there's Cherokee Jack, and I thought of you. (laughs) I was like, this is the perfect Halloween outfit for you. He's a hockey player. It's Creed. You're, You're at the perfect age where you could pull off a Creed Cherokee. Or, hear me out. San Diego Comic Con. What an elusive reference! Everybody be like, "Who are you?" And you're like, "I'm Cherokee Jack," and I got my house. So they'll be like me half the time when I'm down there going, who, "What are they supposed to?" Be? Who, who the hell who is it? Why are they dressed up like this? That is, that is a great episode. Yeah. Um, the uh, what is Threat it? Level uh, Midnight. Threat Level Midnight. Threat Michael yeah. Scarn. Yeah, that's a that's an excellent one. Where where he blows up? To, was it Toby? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Toby's <over>. head <laughs> blows up so many times. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so good. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm in season eight, the, the, the bad season, um, the Robert California season. So okay. it's, it's, it's not terrible. It's not, it has its moments, but my favorite episodes are the ones where he's not in it. Like pool party. Robert I Con- hate that one. It's just, it's all Robert you, you don't, California. You it's don't like, like pool party. I don't like pool party. It's creepy I mean, and it's just like skeezy, it's definitely creepy. there's nothing. It doesn't other than moving the the storyline with Aaron and Andy, which I get so frustrated with by season nine. But um, it does it does little story wise. I like the next episode after that. I think I'm I'm close to that. I'm getting into the oh I just watched the Bed Bugs episode, which is a classic. Either you love it or you hate it. But uh, Kathy Kathy makes her move on Jim. Jim. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. I, yeah. That's a, those are great episodes, though. 
Yeah, they're, they're great. I love, <laughs> I love the, uh, the pyramid, the pyramid, and Jim. He has to fill in for Ryan. It's so good, <laughs> so good. Uh, so no, there are some good storylines, and there's some good stuff that happens. But, happened, but uh, I, I think we talked about this before. Ryan's character changed completely. He does. Right? He does. He, there's, I think, iterations of him, but like, because he's different in later seasons, I think, than he. Yeah, than... first season, he's compassionate. You know, mm-hmm. he's, he, he's got a heart pretty much. But then as it goes on, he just becomes an asshole. Yeah. And I'm um, not, I, Nick, I'm not talking about you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would, oh, we lost, oh, are you okay, Boston? I clicked the wrong button. Oh, okay. I meant to unmute it myself, but I unpictured myself. He was saying, fuck the office. I don't like it. No, I would never say that. Do you know anybody that doesn't like the office? I've not met one person that didn't like the office. My brother-in-law hates the office. He really? just thinks it's, he thinks it's overrated and not funny. Well, he probably I doesn't. Said, I said, that's what you said. don't like Michael Scott. Like, if you don't like Michael well, Scott. The, well, the bad. first season, yeah, they had to, they had to tone him down. Yeah, because the first he, season he he's, he's it, still, it's it's he cringeworthy. Bo- yeah, first season, um, yeah. It's, In the first season, he's rude and not PC because he wants to be. Later on, he's that way because he doesn't know better. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Because there's an episode where he goes, yeah, "I kn- I knew that was wrong the minute I started saying it before he even <laughs> said it." That was the one where he, I uh, think, uh, uh, Phyllis sees the the guy flashes her. Oh yeah. And he says something like that. He goes, "I knew it." <laughs> they, there's interesting, like you know, I've watched this so many times, but there's interesting like reoccurrences or echoes of the previous season. I guess Star Wars would call it rhyming. Or Lucas would call it let rhyming things, but uh, there's the whole, farting. Well, just like the fact that they bring certain like gags back. Like there's the the episode mm-hmm. where Michael is uh, meeting with Ryan, and he's he wants to like basically reject a, a phone call from a client because he wanted to show how how important his time with Ryan was. And there's a whole gag with that that repeats later when Andy, and it's one of my favorite cold opens where Andy tells Aaron, I'm with a client. I want you to come in and tell me that there's, there's a phone call <laughs> and I'm not going to take it. But that one hits better because, and uh, I don't know, it's just something about the, it's your mother. She died. <laughs> she died. And he like, just yeah. keeps trying to come back from it. No, no, uh, take the call. Take the call. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Aaron just keeps making it worse, you know. So that's uh, I, see, Aaron, I think, say, kind of saves the show. She is she is a breath of fresh air for sure, and and it's the relationship that she has with Michael is is an interesting like flip from Pam because Pam's the mother to Michael, whereas right. she's looking to Michael to be a parent, and it, yeah. it's a perfect transition for his character, really, when you think about it, like so. Yeah, I agree, and I I, I, I do like when Idris Alba, Idris Alba is on. I, I yes, like when he's on, and then also when um, well, he's that whole section when he's on is when they do the Michael Scott Paper Company, which right, is probably, exactly. It's one of my I don't know top three like stories in the whole thing. I just love that whole. But how he like, how he doesn't like Jim, but he likes he likes Dwight. <laughs> And he goes, what, Dwight's your go-to guy? Yeah. And uh how they get their jobs back. It was just it's yeah. just a fun I like I like that whole storyline. So and, and of uh, course of course uh what's his name? Uh, Raylan Givens. Why would um Oh oh yeah. Uh, uh, um, the Marshal. Mar- what's his name? What's the Deadwood? Timothy Come on, people. Oliphant. Timothy Oliphant. I yeah. like when he's on because he's like it's not fair. He's like a model. <laughs> <laughs> and Meredith, they try Meredith. to get Meredith to like, uh, you know, like be the sting. And it's like, yeah. you sent the wrong woman in for him. <laughs> exactly. It's so, so fun to watch that crash. But um, personally, there's something about Michael Scott saying, you know, I'll just come, I've got so many names and I'm just going to come up with another paper company, another paper company. <laughs> and, I'll just uh, keep doing it. And doing yeah, it. I, I, there's been moments where I've identified with just about every character in the office. Like I've been that person in the office. It's Cause you ran a paper company. I did. Ironically. You killed yeah. dolphins, but you, you ran a paper. I, company. well, I, I killed a dolphin's store. 
So <laughs> it's it's no longer there. Is that what you're it's saying? It's no longer there. So Dolphin Papers is closed. Okay. So, um, so yeah, there's that. And um, I don't know if I really have anything else to say about that. So yeah, well, that's a good update, though. Yeah. Thanks. I've I've been enjoying a vacation. I I had been kind of enjoying what's left of my my kids went back to school today. What? So yeah, our kids go like they end at the like like almost the week before Memorial Day, and then they go back at the beginning of August. That's so terrible. they get June July off. So yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's all of June and July are off. Well, but, I've been um, I've been saying all all summer. I said they do it wrong out here. Kids should be out of school in the fall here or mm-hmm. spring because it's too damn hot. Right in, in the summer to do anything, you, you you can't go outside. I mean, well, not the kids would go outside. Yeah, but you also don't want to have your kids sitting in school and it's 170 degrees out. There's there's air conditioning. No, there's not. <laughs> I mean, you might have. Your school might have air conditioning, but that's a huge problem up here. Is that not all schools have it? Hmm. And the ones well, that do, it's not. It's not. They're not great. Well, in San Diego, we had it in, in most of the classes, but in the bungalows, the, the the you know mobile whatever they call them, what we call them bungalows. There was no no air conditioning in those, and they and they're funny. They put them out in the direct sunlight, no covers. Yeah, I mean, I remember growing up as a kid. Our schools did not have AC, and it was like hot as fuck when it came to like the end mm. of the school year and that was like that was like the everyone's just itching to get out you know and then finally get out of school but we don't go back to school when i was a kid we didn't go back to school it was the second week of september yeah matt you had like a giant palm leave for your teachers what? That you yes i did that's what we had for ac yeah <laughs> they actually like just invented electricity so they spun it around um, nice <laughs> Before that, you have to hike up to the mountain and get the, the block of ice and carry it. <laughs> by, time say, he, by, by the time you got down, it's just warm water. <laughs> I was going to say uh, to the point about schools and, you know, some some kids don't have AC at home. So like being being in school, at least here um, in, the, in some of the hottest months that we have, um, then at least they're they're like having some relief. But you know, if they were in school all summer long, you'd have so many parents that would just be pulling kids out to go on vacations. And right. You'd have kids just like missing all the time. So. This is America. What's a vacation? What? <laughs> right. Stressing. Well, if it's vacation, like we took as kids, four kids, That's just a parents dog, dude. two parents, a small car until we got a van. Small car going, going from San Diego to Pennsylvania. Not stopping, I think stopping once in, we would stop in New Mexico, I think. And then again, maybe, maybe if we were lucky, we'd stop. There's one time my dad goes, I, he's, we we're going to stop in Missouri or something like that. He goes, I, well, how much? He goes, you want to stop or keep going? We go, well, how long is it? He goes, probably about six hours. I go. He just fucking lied to you the entire time. Yeah, he, fu- he fucking lied to you. <laughs> Push through. Let's go. <laughs> and you, look, you look at the clock like, wait a minute. It's like been ten hours, and we're, we're we're not even in Ohio yet. The fuck, <laughs> Dad? <laughs> that that was our that was our trip. So much fun, and then going to that sounds like a personal fucking hell. And like going to Pennsylvania to- in the summertime, and you get there and you go, oh my god, there's no AC here. I'm I'm, I'm literally sticking to those sheets. Ugh. And how again, remember, I, maybe a week. <laughs> my because my my dad wouldn't take he owned his own business, so he wouldn't take t- a lot of time off. So he races out there mm-hmm. and that's why we that's why we never stopped him and my mom would just go back driving back and forth back and i think the fir- well the first time we were we took a station wagon and <laughs> the back window was open i think i'm sitting in the back and i started throwing newspapers <laughs> out the window i was six i was six I, I don't i don't think my dad was ever more mad at me than that <laughs> Because people are hawking the horn at him because he's like, oh, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> Here's his idiot son in the back throwing papers. In the, wind. the second time, though, we took a Grand Torino, you know, Starsky and Hutch. Oh, yeah. fuck. With four kids, a dog, and two adults. Yeah, that wow. was fun. No, no. computer, no computers, no iPads, no. Did you play that music. car bingo? Did you ever play car bingo? 
we played the alphabet game, you know, mm-hmm. you have to find a letter. And somehow my one sister always was able to find a Q right away. You know, Q, it's like liquor store or nothing else. But she was able on the freeway to, oh, it was on a license plate back there. I go, sure. what a license plate, Quebec? Che- yeah, yeah, cheater. But anyway, so that's, yeah, that's what we did for 3,000 miles. So it's like, oh, God. <clears throat> and then you, once you get there, you're only thinking about one thing coming back. Sex. So, so next time you're bitching about flying <laughs> and all the problems you have to go flying, go back and live my life. Wait, I just listened to you guys bitch about flying last week. <laughs> did we? Uh, yeah. Nick and I did, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah me and Jeff did. But then I remembered the travel. Now, now I remember traveling by car. You know, like you and guys. That's, that's worse. I just could never imagine driving that, <clears throat> driving that far. With family. Well, I've done it several times. Not dog. with family, but yeah, it's it's um, it's it's uh, it, it's not fun. Yeah, it's and it just sucks. You know what's not fun? Taking a commercial break. Nice. <laughs> I thought you know I was I thought it was been like an hour. <laughs> nice job, Matt. And that was the best commercial ever. Yeah. Sure Speaking was. of like vacations and all that, I don't. I don't think as a fellow geek, I don't think I've ever been more disappointed in Cliff as since like because we usually get whoa, references. Whoa, 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 hold on. No, there's th- there's other ways to be disappointed in Cliff, but as okay. in a. Geek, oh, okay, okay, all right. Go, okay, Thank you. Go. So you know, we all go to Disneyland, right? And we're waiting in line, and you know, we're all getting frustrated from being hot in the sun and all that. And I look at him and I go, "So where did the ki-? when I said kids, where do you want to go for a vacation this year? What do you think they said?" Wally World. Wally. And exactly. And Cliff just looks at me like I'm a deer in headlights. Like, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, come on, Cliff. Wally World, Cliff. Wally World. We're at fucking Wally World right now. And he's just like, what are you talking about? I was like, you don't understand Wally World? <laughs> so he's <laughs> never seen He's never seen it? I think he's seen it. He just doesn't have it memorized like 90% of the country. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be out of my fucking mind. <laughs> you have any hot dogs there at Disneyland? Well, I did. I did buy him a hot dog on the convention floor at Comic Con. No, no, no! God damn it! Don't fucking empower him. You nobody should ever buy him a fucking hot dog. You're that's that's that. that's why. Yeah, that, exactly. That's why he is. He's never going like, to learn. I'm. A, I, you know? He should. We should be anti hot dog with him. Like, like he he should never have any hot dog given to him. Like I'm you have to eat a hot dog in front of him. He's got to bring his own fucking hot dog. He's not getting one off the grill. Like he shouldn't get shit for hot dogs. He gets dogs. he gets that hot gotta, dog from Seinfeld. Where and, where and you where, can't where, enable him, Nick, by providing I, I, him. I have an. You should just text and rewarding him pictures terrible of behavior. hot dogs. Actually, he bought my dinner. I think the night before, and Don't believe it. and so I you. felt like owed him a meal. So I got him his favorite. He had a coupon, dude. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it was a free meal. He knew somebody. Yeah, yeah he knew somebody. Oh God! Like he, yeah. He, sometimes he does make me sick. Like he, he's not bragging. He just says it. But he was like, "Oh yeah, I ran to my friends." With- to- like, Great story. Like, you you, fuck, you finally there, have an interesting and story, and you like, fuck it up. Like, uh, yeah, he, and he just, no yeah, he just, no he just, idea he doesn't, what you said. He has no clue. He's just there. Like, no, you froze. Around. We have no idea what you said. <laughs> oh really? Oh sorry. Uh, that's yeah. okay. <laughs> All right. Maybe you should let him go ahead and offer to pay for your internet, though. Maybe. <laughs> Again, just text him pictures of hot dogs. Yeah, it's kind of a weird wiener dick joke, but you know, it, it's just to mess with him. You know, that was literally like the worst fucking like moment. <laughs> like you had to have been there when we're all in that fucking hotel room. Starving, like so fucking hungry, and he goes and makes the pilgrimage to the Seven Eleven or wherever the fuck it was, which is, by the way, across the street. We can see it from the hotel. <laughs> you, you can taste the slurpee. And we're like, oh yeah, fucking sweet. You're going, and he comes back with fucking nothing, man. Like he <laughs> ate everything on the way back. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. Like, how is it like? You broke protocol. Like you can't be the guy that goes for the group and not bring stuff back. And now he's never never gonna learn because someone's just tossing. You know what's the saying? You can teach a man to fish, and you can it, catch a it, fish. Hook up for your him. Bro, your bros with hot you dogs. Can, exactly, something like that. 
You can pay a hooker, but you can't send her to school. You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. There you go. Okay, now, Sherry, I, what, Sherry wants to Sherry, hear your story. I, I, and I want to hear it, oh, too. I want to, but how is Nick ever going to learn? If we let him <laughs> how is he going to learn? <laughs> so just this live, enabling cycle. Like, what, what could the story have been? Uh, the mystery now. You know, and Cliff, when, you know, this, you know, Cliff doesn't mean to do it on purpose, but sometimes he tells no. the truth. I, I, <laughs> and then we got a million dollars. What? what? <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm still fucking genuinely upset about that <laughs> night. Like, I really am. Like, it, it, that one cut deep and it's never going to go away. And Dude, it's a, it's, a, it's a fucking hot dog. Let it go. No, Let it no. go. Can't. <laughs> It was. It was like if if you were to forget to give a hot dog to somebody, like that's the moment you don't do it. Was that particular moment? You're, you're, you know, you're, you're. This is why you're aging. You, I know. You can't let things go. With the gray hairs and the beard. Yeah, you know, I'm you trying know, to let everything go. Bro. He's been my roommate at Comic Con now for at least seven or eight years, and this year we always make one trip People to Ralph's. Talking. We always make one uh, trip to Ralph's before it starts. You know, get water and like room snacks and all that and i bought strawberries and some raisins and like and he looks at me he goes ah oh, nick you know like why are you buying all this fruit and i'm like because i'm not gonna eat shit all week i need to have fiber and stuff i don't know how you, how you poop but i need to poop <laughs> you know he's just like because he all he eats is fried crap all day long and i'm just oh like, that'll and it, it's starting to it, oh, uh, anyway that'll bind you up real good oh yeah Go but on, that wasn't the story. That wasn't that wasn't the story you were telling. No, it's not. Well, hold on. What, what were you about to say, Jack? <laughs> Fried food can be bad for you. <laughs> I knew what he was going to say. <laughs> not gonna... <laughs> I, I, I have no room to talk. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. Not saying nothing. So, are you going to tell that story or not? What was I saying? Uh, so you said Cl Cliff says things sometimes. He doesn't mean he's doing it, but he's not bragging. But he's just telling the truth. So we're, and that's where you broke up. Yeah, because you know he hangs out with us some of the time, Great and recall. then he hangs. Yeah, and then he hangs out with people that were in his industry, you know, from time to time, and so he comes back to the room, and he's got like all these arm bracelets on. I'm like, where the fuck you been, Cliff? Because Cliff's not really a, a super social guy. This is Comic Con, and, right? The Comic Con, yeah. And he's like, oh, he goes, my friends had these badges to get into the uh, the House of the Dragon, like, private party. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And he's like, you know, getting to hang out with the cast and all that. And I'm like, you fucker. You know, and then, like, he, he went to another party. But, like, to him, it's like, instead of, like, us, we'd be like, oh, dude, I got to meet this actor. And we blah, 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 blah. He's just like, oh, yeah, I just kind of hung out, like, at the table in the back and just had, like, a drink and then left. And I was like, what the fuck, Cliff? Like, he, he, did, he, he didn't have a water bottle to hit one over the head with. Yeah. Oh my god, that's a that's a throwback. That's a throwback. That's yeah. a throwback. I, I what was he? What was he? What was he called? The oh yeah, that the, oh, um, that's not right. The, not the wanderer. The uh, the circuit pickup art. Hybrid, the hybrid. The hybrid. The hybrid, the hybrid, the hybrid the yes. Oh no, the hybrid. The hybrid. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The hybrid. Yeah. And there's some sort. I go. I go. I think I told him, Cliff, man, you're, you're going about this wrong. Hitting someone in the head with a water bottle is just going to get you punched in the face. <laughs> anyway, he, Cliff's a good guy, except when oh, yeah, it comes no to bringing people hot dogs. He'd give you the shirt off his back and a water a bottle to the head. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, he, uh, he, he's, we, a, he's a bed hogger too. On top of it, that's what you you told me. He's a bed hogger. Um, just another reason why I wouldn't want to share a bed with him. But, yeah, no. Now, uh, there's been some some sections of the RCAD that I've just been like tuning out or skipping over because I didn't want to get spoiled on anything. Um, but you guys have been wa talking about for all my for all mankind. Yeah, I was I've just been, about ready to bring that up. Final I've, episode. I've been I've been I've been catching up. So I just am starting season three. So that's oh, that's okay. where oh, I okay. just finished season two. I can take the head earbuds off. You can, guys can talk season three if if you need to. But I'm really excited about it. Uh, that, really that's, the, that, that's where it why, starts out the Germans bomb Pearl Harbor. Why, why the Germans? What? Um, no, I'm, I, on a, I, I'm on a roll. Some, <laughs> some of the highlights that, that I, I enjoy that the Beatles 
uh that's was, what i was about to say too earlier. yeah like yeah. i like the beatles stuff uh the use of lennon songs um the use of songs are really powerful um sometimes some of the like i've been drawing to it so i don't always see some of the visuals but like a lot of the dialogue comes through so you're, and that last draw- episode Wait, was you're drawing to it or you're well i i Draws, I, I'll, well, have I'll have a show i'll have a show that's that's going oh, on in and, the then, background, and you're, and you're doing I'm, your work okay got it. But he's sitting at his work. creative station you know okay. Am I, are you fucking way are, more you, are you fucking creative. making fun of my creative station because i know i was saying i'm just saying like you used to podcast from your creative station but i did now and used, now it's not we're not good enough been, well no it's it's demoted. it's yeah. more about the, the well or have you been promoted you know the Legos, you know, you got to look at the Lego back. Your kids backdrop. did that work. You didn't do that work. <laughs> is that a promotion? Why, why is that a promotion? No, I, for I, us? I worked on on building this subway station down here. Oh, I didn't so see I that. made this out of yeah. cardboard, mm-hmm. so my son could have a subway track, and it, and it holds so the weight. It holds weight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, card. So. Well, it must be nice cardboard. Yeah. Well, I have some struts in there and, and what have you. So and um, and then I have. Uh, I, I used to have a, a, another tier in the back to lift up um, like yeah. some of the buildings. But you I ran out of cardboard. Extension. You ran out of dolphin. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. But um, anyway, uh, for all mankind, Ding. really enjoying, enjoying uh, really enjoyed the, the season show. two final episode. Good, that it was it? Like, yeah. It, yeah. I really liked how they pulled all of these different storylines together in a really meaningful way. I thought, thought it was like really well done. So what do you um, think of how the, how, how the uh, people are aging on the show? Um, well, he really hasn't seen a significant age yet. Yeah, I mean, I saw a little bit of it because I. I oh, probably, you, you just started season three. I just started season three. Okay. I don't know if it was last night or this today. Um, so, but but I've had it kind of kind of going on, and so I did see oh. some of the different ages. Uh, maybe it was last night, um, and um, but I. You know, I usually have another show that I, I decompress to or I just kind of like fall asleep to. to. <laughs> but that's been my main show that I've been wanting to catch up on was For All Mankind. And, and I, you guys I, talk I'm, about I, it, so. I, I'm so pissed that I'm caught up. <laughs> I, I, it's just I, tip of the hat or whatever to, to Apple TV for that show. Cause, and, and the faith in Ronald D. Moore to like, you know, bring this like you? creation. I mean... Yeah, huge huge fan of him from from Battlestar Galactica. So just to see him take this and and create a universe, um, an alternate universe that is, I would say, more exciting than that's uh, that's where what I'm telling people about it. That's where I lose him. I said what? It's, I said it's an alternate universe. It's it's I go it's us. It's everything, but things yeah. happen differently. That it's it's they're well, telling well, they're telling their own story. I go, and they it's go, like a retelling what, of history. What, what I was what I would say, well, not a retelling. Just, well, a lot of people think it's like, it's what, factual. You no, know, no, yeah, it's not. I just say like, what yeah. would have happened if the Russians would have beat us to the moon? That's all right. you have to say. Mm-hmm. And then then it just goes off in its own thing. And then that, or, I love, or, I love or that we, they named the character that name checks that the the character that name checks that, and she said she's talking about like I think it's at the season final of uh, uh, two was that. It's the daughter of um, the adopted daughter. And she's oh, talking yes. about like, mm-hmm. well, if this wouldn't have happened or if this wouldn't have happened, you know, and she says, if the Russians hadn't made it to the moon, maybe I wouldn't be here. You know, so I like I liked right. that as just kind of like a, a, a real cool like, oh, yeah. yeah and, like, and that's we're, what that's we're what acknowledging. Said, and my son would have been here instead and been a lot better. Well, well that's what's <laughs> a lot. That's what's neat a lot about the show. Or not. Is, is like what little things that they chose to include in their version of history and not, you know, mm-hmm. in their, like, like, like Matt was saying, like the Beatles get back together in this alternate yeah. timeline, you know, they're using an iPod classic in the nineties yeah. right, right now. Instead of, you know, so it's, yeah. It's like certain things. Developed Be- because, sooner we, I think we later. talked about last because space kept progress, kept going forward. Right. And most of our technology comes from, space technology well it was cool with right. the the ronald reagan like interface like like uh you know one-on-one zoom call happening you know like in the in the 80s you know it's like oh that's cool you know, and like then the somebody's name. i won't spoil everyone someone's president that was never president and he wasn't a great driver no spoiler intent <laughs> sure okay <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of neat little things they did though um, yeah um i mean it's Watchmen's kind of like that in the fact that it's an alternate 
you know, kind of like timeline in, in many ways. So based on deals, truth. Well, but it, I mean, it, it does. It obviously there's deviations with superheroes and that never existed, you know, and Watchmen does that. But Watchmen has a little bit of that alternate timeline or alternate future kind of thing with the different presidents or uh, Robert Robert Redford becoming president, you know, and so anyway. Um, well, to be fair, he was a natural at it. <laughs> Ooh, good one. <laughs> oh, did um, Jack, you'd like it. Have you watched that six part documentary, The Last Movie Stars with by Paul Newman? No. What's that? Yeah, I it's never it's on it. HBO Max, I think. Was it? Yeah, or was it on HBO Max? Is it HBO? Yeah. It's called what? Paul Newman? It's, it's a Paul it's Newman? The, called the, the Last it, Stars? The Last Movie Stars, I think. Last Movie Stars. What it's called. And okay. um, basically, what it is <clears throat> was um, it was supposed to be a documentary about him and his wife. Uh, and they. Jo- Joanne Woodward. Right? Joanne Woodward, yeah. They, apparently, they <clears throat> recorded a lot of segments between like old actors that have died and their friends. And then some reason the audio got destroyed, but the, uh, they, so um, what's his name? Was, uh, Matt, you know, the star of Gattaca, Ethan Hawke. Uh, oh, Ethan, <clears throat> Ethan Hawke found all these transcripts. Uh, and so he got lots of other people to narrate all of these parts again. And they just reassembled what the documentary was going to be. And so it kind of follows, uh, Joanne Woodward's career, as well as Paul Newman's and their relationship, you know, goods and bads, and it's it's pretty interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I'll check. I'll definitely. I'm a big Paul Newman fan. I'll check that out. I told you I met his brother, right? I forgot yeah, I met, if you did. I, I met his brother. He, he used to skate in uh, Palm Desert ice rink all the time. Hmm. His I, name? Uh, I forget his name. He looked just Clint. like him. Uh, he was an actor. Did some things. Clint. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. He wasn't quite as you know, because because Clint, let's say Clint Howard, you're talking about, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. He, he, you know, he was on the the show Gentle Ben, right? Remember Gentle Ben? He was a giant bear. Dennis oh, okay. Weaver was his dad. It was in Florida, and I always I always claim that the we never heard about it, but I think the mall the the bear mauled uh, Clint okay. Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Is that being too mean? Is that being too mean? Maybe. But anyway, I, I just said I'm known for being nice on this show. You guys have never heard of Gentle Ben. No. Gentle Bed? Gentle, Gentle Ben. Ben. It was a, it was a it was oh. a, boy and a, a boy and his bear with Dennis Weaver. Ben. You know Dennis Weaver, right? There's All right, a, I'm just going to Google this shit. McCloud? You guys have never heard of McCloud? I think I heard McCloud. Steven wow. Spielberg's first movie. Was wow. a movie. That was what, that was Maximum Overdrive. No, no, his first his first, it was a it was the it was a car chase. It was a gas truck. Yeah. It was duel. Duel. That's what duel. I was thinking. Yeah, that was Dennis, Dennis Weaver. Now, mother. Dennis Weaver. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at pictures of Gentle Ben from 1967. See, which I'm Randy knows Gentle Ben. Know. Well, yeah, of course Randy would know. You know Gentle why? Ben. You know why? Because they had a fan boat. No, I always, always want to go on a fan boat. You know what a fan boat is? Um, it's what the show is. It's a boat that's powered by a fan. Yeah, this like a, a swamp boat. Yeah, swamp boat. Uh, they, they lived in the Florida Everglades, I think. I, I could be wrong. No, I, I, I clearly can't. Sh- I don't have the power to share. This fucking sucks. It's like being Clark Kent again and not Superman. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, how do I share it for you? Um, Hit share. Let me, let me let me see here. Um, there's this image of Gentle Ben. Because you always share lunchbox when, when that Chris, you uh, share when I really Chris. need to to share with you. So, but Jack, you know, there's a there's a lot of stuff in the Ooh, '60s and '70s is. that kind of falls through the cracks and people don't remember. You know, it's like <clears throat> my dad loved Judge Judge Roy Bean a lot. You know, which is another Paul Newman film. But I guarantee ninety percent of most uh, Gen X and millennials have no idea what that movie is. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. But still, gentle Ben. Gentle Ben. Here right. we go. This is the. I think this this should do it. Maybe, maybe. Do you see it? Oh, Sherry wanted to remind you that she is younger than you, Jack. <laughs> Big deal, Sherry. No one cares. No one's keeping track. <laughs> I don't care. Close the. Well, okay, share screen. 
All I got is I thought I share screen, share screen. Oh, the other. Okay. How, how do I, I, I don't know what I'm doing here, Matt. The other okay. good documentary you guys should check out. I'm sure Matt's watched it by now on uh, Disney Plus is Light <laughs> Magic. Oh, good God. <laughs> right. It's only, only $60 to fuck your favorite bear. <laughs> this, this is. <laughs> Imagine I don't know what kind of with that lunch pail. What kind of show you guys have been watching? But man, that, sixty bucks, hey, man, that can be yours. Hold on, but he, he's gentle. He's gentle what with is that bear. <laughs> I don't well, know if is the bear. <laughs> Please, mommy, don't make me do that to the bear again. Oh, this is oh, the other God. side. We're I'm making money on that. YouTube, kid. Just fuck the bear. <laughs> yeah, like, why is he keep messing with these fucking bears? So, anyway. Well, they were best gentle Ben. Oh, boy. Be gentle, Ben. <laughs> Be you know what's about the boat? There's a boat for Jack. Where's the fan boat? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. The fan uh, boat. That's the fan boat. Now I know what you're talking about. You know what sucked about these thermoses? That's basically like uh, what Nick got around to school in, right? <laughs> fan boat? Yeah. That, that's how I got along on the farm. <laughs> you know, it sucked about those thermoses. They were so cheap that if you dropped it, it would break. I oh, was yeah. getting in trouble all the time because I would break my thermoses. I go, I'm, I wasn't throwing the lunchbox. Who told you that? Anyway. The uh, bear yeah. is on top of the thermos. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was Matt that brought this up, and I know you, why Matt. <laughs> I just did a quick Google search because oh, yeah, you were giving me it's, shit it's, for not knowing it's, about this it's, child it's, molesting anim, animal bestiality. There was something quick going on there with Ben too. How about how about how about? So, uh, so, yeah, okay. I've been watching. Oh, hold on a second. I've been watching a lot of Bill Burr lately. I just don't oh. give a fuck anymore. I so, don't fucking care. So, I also want to point out <laughs> an observation that I have. So, Jack has taken over the upper left hand square. You know, he's taken over the the uh, the producing. I'm the pa- I'm the Paul Lynn. I'm saying this square. is why I had a coup last time. And, and, and now, now Jack also is taking the, the you know that the helm of getting high before the show. <laughs> <laughs> he's been he's been consuming lots of gummies prior what? to the podcast. I, well, I, I one must, must have just kicked in no, but because earlier he was having issue. snap judgment recall. There, I was like, whoa, you yeah, know, I can still recall. I mean, took mine three hours. Well, ago. we went to California and we. Brought home some stuff to help us sleep and stuff like that. And my back is just fucking killing me now. I'm, I'm, I'm in so much pain. Mike goes, because we went, came back from seeing the baby. And I said, she goes, take one. We stopped at a barbecue place, which was outstanding. Uh, the outside, I was a little worried. I said, I go, when was the last time they mowed their lawn? They had weeds like this. I said, yeah. but we we didn't judge a book by its cover. We went in anyway. You brought but, some weeds back with you, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> But uh, anyway, so I took one, and sometimes it affects me, and sometimes it doesn't. I got what you said, Matt, Nick. Um, anyway, so yeah, I, I maybe I, that's why I'm not. I'm drinking water. I was had alcohol. I was. Nah, that's yeah. probably not too good. Yeah, you don't want to mix. I, I, I don't want the bee's knees and the effects of the thing. Where I'm, yeah, you don't. Where I'm, where I'm the part of the joke for the last thirty minutes of the show. <laughs> so, sometimes food will help, though. You know, mm-hmm. like. It will help, you know, or it can also prolong it depending on, on where you take it. Like, are you taking it before or are you taking it after you have food? So I'm just a little okay. FYI. Well, this was, this so. was after I took food. So, oh, so it was, it was, it was after, so you ate and then you, we ate and came home. Okay. But and then, then it just, yeah, I, I just did a, Chris, Chris is on mute, <laughs> but he doesn't know it. Damn it. <laughs> that's I say. That's why I like these guys. These are like the fast acting ones. So like I'll, mm. I'll take a dose of these, and I'm good to go in like 15 <laughs> minutes. Randy says uh, Michael Jackson also had Ben. I <laughs> yeah, th- that was the <clears throat> mouse, right? The rat. <laughs> Siri, stop it! No. Oh wait, no, that's a um, another movie called Ben. <laughs> it's like a horror movie. I yelled hee hee in a la Michael Jackson and Siri just took over my computer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Randy, it was a rat. But then there's also the horror movie that comes out later in the 70s. 
as prop like pro propaganda against Michael Jackson. It's all in Atlanta. Have you guys started watching season three at all? No. It's I like Twilight Zone. And I keep forgetting it's, like, it's, 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 it's on. It's good. The first episode, though, of season three, you're just like, like jaw dropping at the end. You're like, holy fuck, what have I just watched? You know, because it, it's, it's a, br it totally it's a brilliant like show. A, a left, you know, you're like, where's the main character? Where is, you know, um, but dude, uh, dude, I, dude. I liked, I liked Spoiler. season three. What? You said the main character's not in it. He is. He is. He's, he's, he's in, in it. In? Okay. All right. All right. I'm, well, I'm not, I'm just saying like, and I, I don't know. It's like Jordan Peele level, like horror, like really? stuff. Yeah. It's, next uh, season of Atlanta starts. Makes you think. Makes you think. So good stuff. Matthew Tree says next season of Atlanta, no what? joke, starts next month. What? That's nuts. Did they, really? Were they just sitting on season three? Like, well, it's it's been it's been a while between season two. I I mm -hmm. didn't know there. I thought maybe they just said, okay, we're done with it. Yeah, because it was at least two or three years between seasons. Well, this the storyline, and I I don't I don't want to give anything away. So, but there is a storyline in season not. three. Um, and uh, but there there are these other moments that are kind of also happening at the same time that you're just kind of like or other episodes. And I think Jack earlier uh, on the episode. Um, the uh, you had mentioned something like Barry, and it's it is kind of like ba Barry in the fact that it'll take you in a different direction, or you'll focus in on another character, and um, you know it doesn't hold back. You know it makes you so. Anyway, worth the watch. Um, yeah, need, I, need you know maybe before bed you, you watch another show that's like a cartoon or lighthearted because that that just like makes you you're like holy fuck. Okay, now I can't sleep. So it's Sorry, gotten, Nick, you were it's gonna gotten, say it's gotten yeah. dark. It's, well, it's always been, I guess, a like dark side. But it just, it just has, it just has this, this deeper, darker element to it, and I, I liked it. I liked that they didn't Damn. hold back; that they went in different places. So, um, Matt Tree says the gap between two and three was over four years. That's crazy! Wow, yeah, yeah. So, don't call it a comeback. I, I started to say while you guys were looking at, at Gentle Ben, uh, aw. That uh, <clears throat> uh, if you guys haven't watched it yet on Disney Plus, you have the Light and Magic, which is a six part series about industrial light and magic. It's very good. Oh um, yeah, yeah, I, I had seen that that had dropped. And yeah, the first the first two episodes, good. if you saw the the old documentary, it kind of covers the same ground. But then okay. once you get into episode three, which is excellent, um, you get mm -hmm. into the a lot of the stop motion and like how they went from like the original Star Wars and like very little to like Empire is just like on steroids of like all the right. matte paintings and and then you get more into the digital as it goes on. It's it's a really good series if you like how movies are made and all that. Yeah, and that's that's on Disney Plus. Uh, yeah, Disney Plus. Yeah, just called Light and Magic. Uh, and okay. then what else did I? Oh, and then I it took me a while to finish it. Uh, it came out thinking back in February or March um, on Amazon. What is it called? Night Sky with uh, J.K. Simmons and Sissy Spacek. Yeah. It's kind of one of the slowest build season ones I've watched in a long time, but it does get good. good. Looks, yeah, it looks pretty good. And then you're kind of like, oh, shit, like now I want to know and more. What, what's that one called? Night Sky. Night Sky. Night Sky. And what's the, what's the, the show with, with uh, fucking Thanos in it? Uh, Spanos. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thanos. Uh, oh, Jack, you and I watched it. Uh, Jason Brown. Outer, outter, outer um, Range. Outer Range. Oh, Outer, outer Range. range. Outer Range is James I was telling people John, at Comic-Con that. I said, that outer, uh, it's Josh Brolin. Josh, Josh Brolin. Brolin. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. James Brolin is his dad. Josh Grogan? <laughs> yeah, Josh yeah. Grogan is his dad. Um, I'm almost done with season two of Peaky Blinders. Okay. Peaky Blinders! Yeah. Um, Arthur! <laughs> oh, I fucking love Arthur. Yeah. I do. He's a great character. Um, dude, Sam Neill's character in that show? Fuck. He brought what it, didn't he? Yeah. Dick bag. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of famous dick bags here to see later on. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm not. I'm trying not to look at any, any you know, any hint of. Oh, I didn't know that, Chris. I'm oh, sorry. Chris Dorian says that Night Sky got canceled, which I did not know. That. Oh, well, that sucks. Um, oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm digging Peaky Blinders, man. I, yeah, I it's heard great. Come out that there's gonna come like a movie potentially as well. Yeah, it ends to where if you wanted to, you could. Have a movie, or you can, or you're perfectly fine with it ending the way it does. Like it's, uh, 
I think I think they should just leave it alone. Dude, I've never seen people smoke more oh, yeah. and drink more. <laughs> that's you know, that's why I, that's why I said it. they don't have to worry about being shot. They'll be dead by the time they're thirty. Seriously, I mean the the amount of cigarettes that they smoked and in, in, in whiskey they drank. Yeah. It's just I, want, I wonder if that could come in and later in later rocket. seasons. Hey, by the way, Chris, how how are you doing about not smoking? I mean, it's, it seems like it's been a been a while. It's been almost a year. Yeah, Has it been almost that's... a year. Well, no, I'm like nine months in. Oh, so yeah, almost a year. Yeah, you're yeah. you're on the you're on the. You've had a lot of sunflowers. I'm just I'm, more I know I oh, know yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> watching Mad Men being an ex smoker could be like like fuck. I just want to have a cigarette. So nice. I was by the bundle. There you go. <laughs> a case of sunflowers. Do you just do you, I, I know that you, you stick to the basics, or do you, you branch out? Chipotle, original. Um, yeah. Just the original. Okay, There's nothing wrong with the original. Sriracha. Yeah. You know, I like who, barbecue from time to time. These are all my my empty bags. <laughs> Fr- Frito Lay used to make the best sunflower, sunflower seeds. Oh, really? You know, when I was a kid, they were better than David's and Son. Really? Hmm. Yeah, and then. Over time, I still like them, but over time, they've just been... Well, they couldn't use horse oil. The fr- oh, the frito lays the ones that come out of the green tube, right? Yeah, it's a cool green yeah. bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sleeve, yeah. Those are good. I remember those. <clears throat> yeah. But I've tried them recently. They're just not as good as they used to be. Then I start thinking, I go, you know, a pack of sunflower seeds is pretty cheap, right? I mean, well, it used to be. It used to be before inflation or whatever's happening. Those little now. sleeves were 99 cents. Yeah. Um... But I always sit there and wonder, I go, all right, one sunflower seed only gives you so many seeds, right? Right. One, one plant. Oh, oh, they get all these fucking seeds because each bag has at least, you would think, probably about three or four <laughs> sunflower seed plants in them. Have you have you never driven through South and North Dakota? Oh, my God. I've never been there. No. That's oh. all it is. Oh, oh really? It's sunflower seed. Yeah. It's just tons and tons of fields. Of all right. Now, now I understand. How do they keep the birds out of them? <laughs> I don't know. Because hmm. that's a pain. I mean, they, they need their sun, right? Mm-hmm. You're trying to, you're trying to, you're trying to, you're trying to, yeah. Scarecrow. huh? Scarecrows? Scarecrow. Lots of scarecrows. Did, did you Lots not see children? Of, did you not see children of the corn? I did. I, I did. wonder if they have nets. Once. <laughs> like, big, giant nets. That well, makes, that's, that, that, that would be, that, no, that would be inhumane to the birds that get stuck in, yeah. you know, the dumb ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, most birds are pretty dumb, though. I was gonna send. I was gonna send you a Bill Bird one today, and I went. I went. Um, no, no, I was. I, 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 I just I leave this really one alone. Birds are dumb. So, Bill. I mean, Bill. Speaking of Bill Burr, Bill Burr's new special on yeah. Netflix on my list. Oh, it's he's pretty it's already good. Out. It's pretty fucking good. Netflix. Um, I think it's on Netflix. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Um, it was Bill Burr at Red Rocks. Actually. At Red Rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I, I'm glad you uh, told him about about him, uh, me about him, Chris. He is yeah. funny. Funny. He funny, makes. Funny. Uh, yeah, so if you guys have Chris. watched that. Guys, you heard that right? He said, "Chris, he gave me credit." I have he, to because I'm the fucking, fucking producer. Me. I have to be nice. He fucking gave me credit. That was. I awesome. know. I think he's yeah. just trying to get you on his side, though. You're welcome, Jack. You're welcome. Uh, we could, we could I, I'm pretty. Practice. I'm pretty sure that Matt and I are the ones that brought <laughs> Bill Burr up, though, because. <laughs> Have you watching. watched? Have you watched his Philly implosion or yes. explosion? Yes. Oh yes. my god! I think he sent it to us a while back. Yeah. I think I did. Yeah. yeah like, he, he just goes off. Oh my god! It was just so good. Yeah. He's he's a fucking great comedian. I I, I love Bill. Burr. I saw him. He was. It was. I was watching something on Netflix. It was an older one, I think. And he just comes out right away. This is who I am. Fuck it. Yeah. It might have been Car- at Carnegie Hall. I maybe is that one. Before you watch anything <laughs> else, Jack. Uh, the um, Severance show. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start watching it. Oh, right. I thought you started. No, I'm wait, I'm waiting till after uh, for all mankind. Oh, okay. Because I've been watching re- rewatching Boardwalk Empire. I, I saw you. I saw you text that. That's that's cool. Oh, yeah. I I also thought you know the interesting thing about getting out of one of those traps is that both sides have to come together. Right. So it's kind of like an interesting idea about like the two Ooh. the two sides. Coming together Trippy, in order man. to like re- release the yeah. So I don't know if that, yeah, but it's cool, cool little thing to give out as far as an item. 
oh shit, Nick's trapped now. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently I actually found like someone never ever throw anything away at Comic Con because it's worth money. And uh, I found this as well as the ID card because like they had they had an experience like a severance experience at the Hard Rock a hotel in San Diego this year. So here's the, the key card for the show people, if you can see it. And mm. here's the, the finger. So, so you're saying you, I should also, start saving my toilet paper? Never throw anything away? Just, I mean, not, well, you can throw that away. What I mean, about it, those panties that are hanging back there on your, like, where did those come from? Um, the, on your shelf, you have like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That, did uh-huh. you get those from Comic-Con too? Uh, no, I just wear those around the house. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so uh, apparently they got uh, a book, like an instruction book, um, as well as this and the badge, and there's one other thing, and like it's going for like sixty to eighty bucks right now on eBay, just for oh, just, just for these little knickknacks. Yeah, because because it says Comic Con, right? No, they don't say Comic Con. It's just because it's the severance. And what are the odds of you ever the like, getting a uh, Lumen badge ever anywhere else? So it's just one of those. So rare you're selling. Things. So you sell? Are you saving it or selling it? I save everything. Like um, I looked up the I, every now and then I'll just look up on eBay things I bought at Comic Con like a decade ago. Um, I bought a <clears throat> Revenge of the Jedi Death Star. It's in a, and it's a Hasbro exclusive. And it's just you know, it's only about that thick, but it's a big round. Jay, disc. Jay, didn't, Jay didn't Jay didn't not, fight you for it. I'm not sure if Jay got it or not because I remember him saying it was probably too big for him to get home at the time. But I have I have yet I paid 120 dollars for it in 2011. I've looked up three of them in the last week on uh, eBay, and they're all over three grand. If he ha- if Jay hasn't didn't get it can you please just send him a message <laughs> yeah look at this fucker <laughs> hey toy man i mean he know he knows though like i mean uh, about the, i mean that's the, where the money's at if you can get those exclusives and then hold on to them they they don't ever hurt them they're they're worth a lot i don't they think they retain their values sometimes more than stocks <laughs> yeah it's just like legos just like legos it's, some it, more than well, others well, you just never whatever. know well it, it's the old saying What's, it's only valuable to what if people want it. If right? people want it, yeah, exactly. If, sure. if nobody, if nobody wanted gold, nobody, nobody would care. No one would kill for it, right? Right. Of course, I don't we know. kill for, we I kill think, for anything now. I think the aliens are still going to need that gold, so that's why they're harvest. They have us harvest it <laughs> for them. So it, the, the collectability of those, like that lanyard, though, is actually really interesting. You think about it, like because like. Have you seen any merchandise whatsoever for Severance? No, this was the first time I think. Right, ever. Mm-hmm. It's, it's literally like the only like thing that's right. out there, yeah. and it's that's cool. It's a good show, Jack. I think you'll really enjoy it. So yeah, Jim just... Otari was Jim Otari was telling me about Cindy and I about it, and Cindy was like, "Oh, maybe I'll watch it." So I, I, that's another reason why I'm kind of stalling because I know if oh, I start it, right. I'll say, "Hey, do you want to watch it?" Oh, I'm, I'm watching Grey's Anatomy for the 90th time. Oh my gosh. Um, Wow. I mean, you know. wow. Um, <laughs> it was so stupid. Anyway. It, I think I, the only thing with Severance for me was that it did move a little slow. So it was kind of like a yeah. little, it, 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 it has a, a cold, sterile feeling, which can kind of be a little hard to like enter or penetrate that first shell. That's what but, she said. Uh, <laughs> but once you get to the inner goo, <laughs> mm-hmm. sorry, I'm trying to make it not gross now. Uh, Jim Atari in the chat. Jim says, "I'll love it," but he already does true. love it. Jim, you already do love it. Oh, I said you'll love it. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't read the second line there, Jim. Have you have you made it non less uh, disgusting? Your uh, what you were saying? Oh, just penetrate that outer shell. You're going to get to that really good center. Uh, <laughs> when all Sherry- the things start firing. Sherry says Severance was slow, but ended really well. Did you did you ever stick with uh, For All Mankind, Sherry? Did you give up on it? Stop pushing her, Jack. What if it was just called All Kind <laughs> or All Kind? Would that would that be a different thing for people? Is that a is that a, is that a turnoff? Would you say All for All Mankind? It's kind of sexist. Would you would you would you agree, Matt? I have no opinion on this. Really. So if you have no opinion, you're probably saying I'm just being crazy. It's not sexist. I was, we're all humankind. I wasn't really not paying on, attention to anything you were saying <laughs> for the past. Um, is, there, is there anything else? Because I know Chris. We're about ready to lose Chris. I can see he's yeah. fading. No, oh, he's, he's fading, fading fast. I he's fast. fading fast. You know, and I, I just I only have one question, and not that anyone would know this. 
when is the new iPhone coming out? It's a good just, question. I, I always want to know. Curious too. It's always in the fall, but there's always people that are dicks at the Apple store and they don't want to tell you. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you. I don't know. Leave me the fuck alone. But here, give me a five star on customer service. Hey, okay, Jack, five stars. Jack, Jack, do you remember when you used to make t shirts and try to sell them? Yeah. Maybe that you should make one that says, When's the new iPhone coming out? And then it's the, the job the of the side, producer. The, yeah. And on the back really side, it says, kind of I don't know and I don't fucking point. care. Yeah. <laughs> You know, we could have the first lady maybe wear it on a jacket. Yeah. Uh, and that could, be right. new, that could be the new Apple uniform. What do you think? Instead of the stupid blue shirts with the Apple and I'm here. Uh, they, could, they could wear something like that, right? For anyone that works for Apple. Uh, Sherry has it. Chris, this is like, would we please just move on? It's, this it's fucking on topic. hold. <laughs> it's like me talking about paper. Chris is like, God damn, I need a cigarette. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Man, I can't tell the last time I had a cigarette. It's been, that's been. That's even, great, though. I mean, like, years. I feel like it's, it's, it's outstanding. Do you, it feels do you like crave a, it? Uh, do I crave a cigarette? Yeah. No. Only while watching Peaky Blinders, right? Only hey, gentle, yeah, I mean, while gentle Ben. Crazy, smoke, he craves but, Gentle Ben. No, after he's um, done. No, he craves a cigarette after he's done with Gentle Ben. Yeah, but, <laughs> so, I, I, will, I will say. Uh, the, the, a couple of times I've gone out to like a bar or to watch a concert or whatever, and you, can, you have a bunch of beers, like, and that's when I want to smoke mm, or, or yeah. vape. You know, I want to go outside and have a have a vape because vape I that pot, have, right? What's that? Vape in that pot, that marijuana. No, 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 no. Not I. I don't do that. Like. Like I did with on the show when you guys saw me in the show. The, although funny, for like two and a half years, you thought I was vaping marijuana. <laughs> yeah. I was actually I, not. Didn't we all think that? I, I, I thought I, that. Yeah, I we we had. Uh, I go. How's he still standing? I'd be sitting there. Going, I think. I think part of me knew. Ground. I think part of me knew that you were not because because I've been around people that vape weed and it doesn't come out in huge plumes like that. Yeah, I, I was a so, goddamn steam machine then. Right. <laughs> so, steam machine, I mean, steam you can you can practically like use a, a weed vape vape thing and just like did somebody fart weed cuz yeah. I don't know who did it, you know, like we I, uh, I mean, I, I have a weed vape pen, but I don't I don't use it a whole lot, but like but when I'm drinking or whatever like having the the nicotine vape or was is I miss that a lot. Like I, I went to, a, I would a imagine concert, that you cover band um, the other night, and like, I would have loved to have had it. Yeah, I would. I would imagine like just having having it would be like a whoopee. You know, it's like, well, I'm not smoking pot and I'm not yeah. vaping, but I've got this. So I don't know. Exactly. Not that, for, not that for, you need a whoopee because you're a man. You're a fucking well, man, yeah. and you've done it, dude. So for all you, you know, youngins you, out there, do not get the whoopee to... reference. That is from Mr. Mom. And it's a security blanket. It's a Wooby. It's a Wooby, yeah. 120, 121. Whatever it took. Yeah, whatever it works. Uh, so, Sherry says, you talk about vaping marijuana once. I think we all thought you were vaping marijuana after you. Dude, that, that's, See? that's fucking. See, that, even, that, though, even the that, viewers said that. I, I, I never knew that. And that, that blows my mind because if I was vaping marijuana all that time, I would have been absolutely so fucking high. high. Like, <laughs> But it would also explain why, I've been like, so sometimes fucking you're really quiet, you know. Like sometimes you'll be really, sometimes you'll be really quiet. So then it would also well, explain I, that you'd be like, "Shit, I can't say anything now." Well, no, no. I, I used to, I used to, I used to mute myself all, and I still do. I, like uh, my, I just had a couple of sunflowers. I muted myself, but when I used to vape, I would mute myself so you wouldn't hear the the fucking thing going off. Oh. And then I'd forget to unmute myself, and I'd sit there talking to myself and shaking my head because you guys can't hear me. <laughs> Uh, I think it's time for the John, John, the, John the retired retired guys that Tim and I both thought. Wow, so many people. Uh, wow, it's this. You guys a, must have, like you guys must have thought I was like a like Cheech, Cheech and Chong for crying out. Like that, that I was kept, that, I, that, I kept was waiting a, that for was you. an inappropriate amount of marijuana. I, I, was, I, like, I kept waiting for you to think that you were driving a pot car. Okay, I just want to pot. <laughs> I just want to clarify one other rumor that was is like on the podcast and and you know whatever. Hard hat. <laughs> at whatever edibles I may or may not have had at, at Raleigh, you know, I don't think that they were like that much more potent or powerful than, than, um, you know, what other people brought, but apparently it, it's been alluded to that I'm like doing the hard shit somehow. Um, I mean, the <laughs> truth is, is that 
I'm actually just high all the time, so I don't really have like a like an off. No, I'm just joking. But it seriously, was though, cocaine, I was right? not like I didn't have some hard ass. Well, who said that? Wanna, I, I I think Dan started this rumor, and, and, um, uh, and thanks you, Dan you for making me sound. You can't trust like, a serial killer. I know, yeah. but yeah, that's how I mean, they they spread their lies. That's how that's so, you know we, we've all seen. Uh, I mean, it's just that a matter. Show? It's just a matter of time before he gets caught, you know, Matt, because Lake Mead is draining fast, and they're so fast. bodies, bodies right and left out of that thing. Yeah, so it's uh, they're you, solving you, a you lot. Know, of Dan's, cases. You know, Dan's over there peeing in it, trying to fill it back up. Yeah. <laughs> he's driving out there right now he's, as we he's, speak. Please rain, please rain. <laughs> uh, where did I put? Where did I put those eighty bodies? I can't remember. Fuck. <laughs> He needs a body. He needs a body locator. Bodies that you kill, you know, you put an apple tag on them, right? Oh, I actually that, had a that way an you idea can find for it. a for a, for an app. So um, maybe maybe I'll I'll invest in that and just make that happen. But I have this idea for an for an app. I don't want to say it. it's a three part app, and I can tell you the third part of the second part. <laughs> Sorry, it's an office reference that yeah. Jack clearly doesn't get. Okay, I was. I'm sorry, I was watching the Pottery Game. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm pitching comedy gold here to you. You got nothing. All right, how well, do you close no. out this show? Isn't there something? No, do, what's like, what's or... the fucking app? No, he doesn't want what? to say because we will steal his idea. Yeah, yeah I yeah. don't want anybody. It's a good. It's a golden idea. I've been nobody's, sitting on this. Nobody's no. Nobody, so it's something you sit on. It's something you sit on, <laughs> and it's an app. Hmm. Got it. It moves you your you around on a okay. We got it. We got to close. I, I saw something funny on it was either Twitter or Facebook. Wow. See, this is why I took something. You, this is why I was the producer. Some, wait, something. So you're so you're, you're they already invented that though. You talking about the late the lazy Susan that you put your dick through and you spin it around? Yeah, <laughs> they already, they, they already made those. Yeah. Lazy Susan. You've never heard of lazy Susan? Not not that you put my dick in. <laughs> What are you talking about? No, now they're changing it to Lazy Ben. Really? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's that's offensive. Well, that's offensive. It's not, it's not sexist. And let's, la lazy Susan. Okay, w what guy came up with that term? You know, we're gonna call this a lazy fucking Susan because my <laughs> wife is so fucking lazy. Lazy. Yeah, like she's in you know, it was probably somebody like at the dinner table one night. His wife is named Susan, and she just didn't right. want to fucking hand, hand him over the last hot deal. dog, right? And so <laughs> she's like, "My fucking lazy wife Susan wouldn't fucking reach over and hand it to me." So I'm making this device, and all she's got to do is spin it around. Then I can get my hot dog. The old reach around. That's what the lazy Susan was. So yeah, the lazy Susan. No, <laughs> do it yourself. No, she, she would go, do it yourself. Okay. I'm lazy Susan. <laughs> you know, lazy Susan name origin. Uh, <laughs> hang on a second. There's got to be a reason for the name. Yeah, I hope there's a really good uh, picture that you can share with us with a lunchbox and a bear being mauled by a child. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we oh, just yeah. stumbled across the, the, the stuff. The bear's like, planning. are you through yet? <laughs> I mean, if if we did plan it. Fucking Thomas wouldn't... Jefferson invented the lazy Susan? Oh, fuck. You know that was named after a slave. It was. Oh, my God. <laughs> are you fucking Thanks. kidding me right now? <laughs> Susan. <laughs> exactly. 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 You know. Susan. Wild. Oh, that was the code name for... Abig Abigail Adams. It was really his porn wheel. Susan. That's what it was. Is that yeah. it was his porn wheel. Yeah. So Susan didn't have to do anything. It was just he yeah. spun her around. He's so yeah. he, 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 he. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, come in here. See, sit down yeah, there's, there's and let a, me. Yeah. Wait, just take a look at you, Thomas Susan. Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's his old. He's like Susan. Susan, come here, sit down, and have a spin for me. Why are you so lazy? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, he sounds like Jimmy Stewart. I'm positive, one hundred yeah. percent. Merry yeah. Christmas, lazy Susan. <laughs> 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 I think we got the title for this episode. Lazy Susan. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> and now we can end the show, right, Jack? That's what you do. Yes, yes oh, well, Jack. I, I who, just, who are we thinking? We gotta wait, thank our patrons. Wait, wait. wait. I saw something it was a meme or whatever it says. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Tell you how tough when I was a kid. You know, push-ups. Have you guys all seen a push-up, right? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. We used to eat ice cream out of a toilet paper roll. I never thought oh. about that. I go, I go. You know, it is a toilet paper. Yeah, roll. Right. Totally. Yeah. Everybody yeah, loves yeah. the orange sherbet. It's great. Yeah, oh, man, the orange sherbet ones are awesome. My grandkids love, love. But anyway, uh, they, do we have any emails, uh, Nick? No. You know, Randy. <laughs> Randy. Disappointed. Yeah. Randy. All right, couldn't, Randy. Couldn't think of a dad joke, huh? Randy, time out. Go take a time out. But this show wait, wait. would not be possible without Matt joining us every now and then. Let's give a big sure. hand to Matt. You don't have to clap for me. Thank, but I just enjoyed joining you, gentlemen. Uh, thanks for having hand. me. Sure. Apart, reach out and touch someone. We touch all them. had you like we, you were like Ben to us. <laughs> <laughs> Bend over, and I'll show Bend you. <laughs> Hey, that's what they call him, yeah, gentlemen. There you go. Um, God, that lunchbox. We should buy that lunchbox. <laughs> I, I, somebody needs to share that image on Facebook because that is just too. Hey, too, Chris, too, too the, you sent us that thing from TikTok about um, what's his name? Our, our uh, lots of shit from TikTok. No, I'm yeah. Sorry. The, the, the oh no, guy, I know. The, uh, uh, Greco. Uh, Greco, Richard Greco. Oh my was, Christ! Was, was was that, that real? Was, yes. Holy shit! That was yes. crazy. So what, the, what Jack is referring to, I I, I came across like a, a reverse like time lapse of Richard Creek from today, or at least recently, to back when he was like the steamiest motherfucker on the planet because he yep. was a handsome dude. I he showed was. my wife that video and she's like, "What the fuck is this?" She's like, <laughs> "Oh, <laughs> what? The oh, it's Richard Creek. He was so hot." <laughs> for Christ's sake, he, he was. He was a damn good looking man. He, he is was. And, he and, looks like a piece of shit today. Yeah. Like I, I and, think and we don't he, know him. No. He'd no. be the nicest we, guy. He could we be pretended nice that we knew him back in like season one of the show, but um I think I know uh, why he never we're on joined season us, twenty though. now. He probably he listened. Looks, you know. He looks fucking awful. Like he, I think it was a mugshot. Yeah. I, he looks like oof. He aged 150 years. Drugs are a crazy thing. Yeah. So, Richard, stop. Stop doing it. But anyway, this show could not be possible without the page. Richard Greco. Which, without Richard Greco and Lazy Susan and, like uh, Randy said, Lazy Abigail. Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> I can't believe Thomas Jefferson invented that. Crazy. Because your images of him, what he was doing with that Lazy Susan, I think oh. uh, Nick said it best. And maybe Matt mentioned it too. I probably what he's what he was doing with it. Exactly. Anyway, um, would you just finish the goddamn show? <laughs> All right, Jimmy. Um, <laughs> so anyway, if you want to become a patron, go to janejack.com. Little button on there says "Become a patron." We're look, first looking. We're still looking for our first million. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We're still, we're st that could so be a picture of him using a lazy Susan. Is, is that where he got his penis chopped off or something? What the fuck? <laughs> My penis! It's <laughs> his lazy Susan. His nose. It's his nose. Something happened to his nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Going to hell. Twirling around, twirling around. Anyway, Richard, I mean, uh, things. See, you can't interrupt people when they're trying to finish the show. It's I, think it's hour, though. I think I think we can uh, go another twenty minutes just talking. But you know, hey, do you have we're names? still looking. Do you have names for the patrons? I, I don't have names for the patrons. That's a, a little lame se segment. <laughs> Did you say that someone won one point three billion dollars? Yeah, yeah. one of our patrons. Million, no, and they, uh, they, you know, what they ended up with after taxes? Four hundred million. Four hundred forty-seven million. Now you're like yeah. going. Holy shit, the government took over 750 million. I mean, he's still getting 400. Dude, he's getting was. half a billion dollars. That's yeah, so it's still a lot of money. But you, at one point, you had 1.3 billion. Yeah. And the government said, you know what? We're going to take some up. of this and we don't know what we're going to do with it. We're, we're just going to take it. We're, we're going to take it. We're going to piss it on some stupid project. Oh, that's where money. the black ops stuff goes, man. Well, it's so. like, I mean, like uh, Nancy Pelosi's security just for her Taiwan. Visit was ninety million dollars. You're just like, what the fuck? Hey, Nancy, I know you're old. I know you're old, man. I'm not trying to be sexist here, I, 
but they have this new thing called Zoom. You can literally talk to anyone around the world and not spend $90 million. You could take that money. Hey, there's a lot of, there's a big homeless problem in this country. Would you, would we all agree? Take that $90 million and feed people and get people off the street, get them clean, get them off drugs. Anyway, I, and I would say that I would say that no matter who I hate those, those trips I'm should be, pretty those, sure those she trips should be illegal. She went there because she was trying to find these deleted text messages that just came seemed to be like disappeared. <laughs> she was like, I'm going to the source. I know they're here somewhere in Taiwan. So maybe not- she maybe she left because her, her husband also had drugs in his system when he got pulled over. I heard, it was, I heard it was because she had insider trading info about computer chips that probably, you know, probably yeah. Did you guys hear? A, I know not to extend this any further than it needs to be, but did you hear <laughs> right. about fucking Alex Jones's cell phone today? Oh yeah, he got like a, his his team accidentally leaked it to the prosecution or something. Dude, his what? defense lawyer gave a full co- like they like essentially a digital copy of all the content that was on his phone by ever. accident. Ever, yeah. ever, wow, by accident. So the prosecution or the defense team has it. It was just subpoenaed by the January 6th committee. Holy fuck. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> you're, you're going okay, to find Alex. You're, okay, you're I, just, find I, Alex just have about, I just have to say about I just have to say one thing about that piece it, of shit. It was it wasn't that, an ac- it wasn't an accident. Is that I remember I, podcasting. I'm with, with, I'm with Jack. Jack on that. I'm with Jack on that. But that, that's wild. And you're going to find Alex Jones in a fucking ditch. Like, something bad's going to happen. You probably hang yourself. I remember, I, I, having, to, oh, I remember having to podcast with Jack, uh, like, the, the day of Sandy Hook. And that, it was just like, we just didn't even know where to begin. No, it was, you uh, know, it was just so, and, so and, hard. And for this, so, for this piece of shit, and I, I put on Twitter today, it doesn't matter what political side of the aisle you're on, we all have to wonder how this guy sleeps at night. Oh. What he yeah. did, to, what he did. To, I mean, he's he's let's he's, face it. He, he's he's a crazy fucking asshole. What he, what, he did, what he what he did, what he what he did to these parents yeah. and the family yeah. members and the siblings of these of something where these kids just got slaughtered by someone who should have never had a gun yeah. ever. Yeah. And it's just for, uh, him, for him to do what he did. I'm like going. And the problem is now he's filing bankruptcy. He's hiding all his money. Oh, mm-hmm. sure. But he's never gonna pay. It's His like OJ; he'll never phone, pay a dime. Though, yeah. <laughs> Good luck hiding it on that. I, I hadn't, I hadn't heard uh, that, but that's uh, yeah. But no, I just yeah. To turn around, I mean, you and I had just a hard time just going on and talking about sports, you know, like after yeah. that, and it was just like where to begin. So, or The Walking Dead, or both. I don't yeah. remember at this point, but I don't remember what it was. But I remember it. It, it, it was like, just, I... it was, and this guy, this guy made his living and money off of just spreading these like vicious fucking and, pe- lies and people and, be- and people believed it. They still do. I'm like, so. come on, how, how do you? They still how do. do you, how do you do this to fucking people? Yeah. What was the? What would be the point? And then Sherry asked, "We never. We did talk a little bit about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard." Yeah, I think I just made my joke. Could have been probably um, about how like we no longer can call going to the bathroom number one, number two. We call it me to go R. Kelly and uh, oh and yeah, yeah. yeah we did, we did. I I was I thought I was here for that. Yeah, yeah. I said I said Amber Heard should have maybe instead of looking business like should have made because there were guys on the jury. I was being sexist, but I said if I was a lawyer, that's what I would. My job is to get you. Well, I don't want to say that. My job is to get you <laughs> to win. Any worse than what you just <laughs> My said. job is to get you. My job is to get you. Get My you, yeah. Jack. The no, I'm, 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 again, I'm saying as being honest. I'm just saying no, I, I that's know, what I would have done because you know the business like it. And that's what my wife said. I don't think she's very pretty. And I went, oh, you know. Nah, she's pretty. Yeah, but have you heard of the patrons and their fucking names? Because yeah. I haven't. <laughs> yes, uh, and we thank five patrons at this time: Tack from Paris, Eckhart Richter, Glassholder, Joanne with the plan. Are you watching for all yeah. mankind? Joanne, let us know about for all mankind. We uh, Ed the creepy letter carrier and Matt Carrier and Maggie the magnificent. Thanks for Matt for the surprise visit. Oh my gosh! Good to see what you, bud. Treat- what a yeah. treat that was for some people and for us too. Blah, blah, blah. It was a great show though. Admit it. It was, it was one in a million. 
You could have been. Hey, if we keep going too much longer, it's going to be your birthday, and then we're going to have to sing happy birthday. So, oh, also, we'll have to do a commercial break if we don't end within like 20 seconds. Cool. That's all we got. Is- Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Now. All right. Oh, I got to end it. Bye. Yeah, you guys still got to click <laughs>